let's talk about learned helplessness for a minute. So my boyfriend has a big giant old Rottweiler named Diesel, 116 pounds, looks like a monster, big sweet goober, and he's adorable. And Diesel has been with Ryan since he's been, you know, a little baby teddy bear puppy. So early on, Ryan introduced the dreaded baby gate, which is like a barrier to Diesel. And it's about a two foot tall, you know, standard baby gate meant for human babies, not, you know, big giant dogs. And this baby gate has been with him for the past four years. Well, now Diesel's full grown. He could knock that baby gate over with a sneeze. We step over it. He sees us humans step over it every day. And yet Diesel does not challenge the baby gate. Now, what's interesting is he also doesn't challenge his pen, which is about but like yeah, four foot high or so. And that one does seem a little more daunting to him. But the interesting thing about it is when we brought Diesel up to Ryan's parents up in Illinois, totally different house. We put Diesel in his crate. We put him in his baby, you know, we put up the baby gate and he jumped right out of his baby, right out of his pen over the baby gate and just started walking around the house while we were gone. Isn't that interesting? Learned helplessness is A, learned. That dog didn't know that he couldn't mess with the baby gate until he tried the baby gate, tried the baby gate, tried the baby gate, and eventually just gave up trying. And he never tried again, which is again, just fascinating to me because the dog is taller than the baby gate now. That's the really interesting part of it. And then even when he had proven that he was able to jump higher than the baby gate, he still doesn't mess with it at home. So learned helplessness can also be circumstantial or environmental. And maybe it's only certain situations where we think we have these limitations placed on us. But the really interesting thing about it is if we would just take a moment to test that helplessness, if we would just take a moment to test one more time, maybe we'd break through. And I get it. I know that we've tested and we've tested and we've tested. You know, we keep getting just refused. We keep getting told no. We keep getting told, nope, this isn't going to happen. But maybe if it's still calling to you, if there's still a plate of food on the other side of that baby gate for you, maybe test it one more time today. You're a different person than you were five, ten years ago. You're a different person than you were a month ago. You're a different person than you were two hours ago. Give it a try and just test it in a different way. And that's one of the things I love about hypnosis is it allows people to really get an experience and understanding that our internal baby gates are not as logical and not as fixed as we might think they are. So if that is you, if you've been stuck at something and you've given up on it, go back and try it again. See what happens and let me know. Happy healing.